My God! My God! Let the goose in the gas. Now, we're pleased, uh, you know, pleasantly surprised, actually, that this story somehow partially got out there. And as you already know, if you've seen the other video, we basically talk about how only part of this, um, part of this was actually broadcast in the New York area on uh, CBS, you know, on CBS. There has some plane incident um, that they interrupt this particular, um, this particular update concerning Whitney's goddaughter. But it's interesting the, the half of the story that, that comes out, which really shows that Whitney wasn't really so much planning so much to go back in the music business or industry in the way that has been made to be seen, but she was actually planning something on a spiritual level. And we already informed ones and ones in the previous vids that we did, um, right after it was announced, that there's some connection um, with her killing and her growing in consciousness of, of her roots, of who she is, and the fact that she would be a um, a, a a a sign to a whole generation to to reconsider the claims of we as the once lost but now found Beta Israel. So here we get to see some video footage that almost we will have probably never seen before except for the extraordinary circumstances of um, Whitney Houston's um, um, death but I think we really need to put it in the terms of, of, of murder and not just an individual but we're speaking about the so-called um, Lunar nutty or what they call the so-called Illuminati falsely called the Illuminati now one would say well did the Illuminati kill her and why I mean what would be the big deal about that those are people who obviously don't understand the half of the story that hasn't been told now um, it's very clear that Israel the experience that Whitney Houston had in Israel had a definitive effect on her on, on, on her life you know what I mean um, which which shows a, a, a black person you know a regular African American aside of ourselves that we were told even from the pulpit and the churches was not supposed to be you know we are just so called um, according to the false preaching a lot of nigger, nigger churches the Negro churches tell us that we're just Gentiles you know so called saved by grace yes we are saved by grace but we are the ones lost but now found base Israel so to know that um, the late um, Nippy or Whitney Houston had such plans and for them actually to um, reveal this in this insider um, edition report and then to have this report um, um, intervene or or or, or um, cut across, you know, by emergency broadcast. And we're speaking about February, February 27th. It's Monday, February 27th, 2012, when this particular, you know, the B-roll, we're rolling the B-roll right now. So you can see some of the shots and we played it, probably play in the beginning of it. So you see in the beginning of it, just the portion and where they edit it and where they, they cut across it. You understand? To show that, that, um, she had spiritual plans of getting her spiritual house in order, but somehow that was that was cut short. Now, one thing or the other is true. Either what so-called Clive Davis, you know, and those so-called knew her best and blah, 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 blah. Either what they say that she's about to get back in the music business industry, so forth and so on, and she's planning all these either tours or this or that, or... It's like the goddaughter says that she was planning to return to Israel, to Israel, and to be baptized in the River Jordan and to also bring some of the significant folks in her life, so significant people, family, and, and others. And, you know, just interesting that Ray J was, was, was named in that. Now, um, there's more to this story. 
you know there's much more to the story but we just we just want to kind of circle the wagons on this particular um, news right here because first of all it confirms exactly what we said from the very beginning I know some people I turn to it and we're talking about Whitney and Israel and this Israelite stuff and black Hebrew some people are like oh whatever you know saying uh, it's not about that it's because she's doing drugs and she's crackhead you know what I mean and then you really get to recognize that she was trying to improve her life she's trying to get out of come out of Babylon but she had become um, a virtual uh, cash cow a golden calf in a sense and we can see this immediately right now now that she's gone her music is shooting back up to the top of the charts or at least people are buying it a lot it's selling a lot of money they say well the daughter Bobby Christina we will have to pray for Bobby Christina you know because a lot of folks obviously in the, in the circle know about her plans to um, return to Israel and to get baptized but the only one that's really talking about this is um, is the God daughter you know some even say that and we don't want to put this on the God daughter but they're probably gonna go there with it too that since she has this she has this other side of Whitney Houston that some of us already saw you know trying like a butterfly you know it was like that butterfly that's trying to get out of that cocoon so it can I mean that that caterpillar get out of the cocoon so it can become that butterfly but 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 someone and when we say someone we're speaking about a corporate a kind of a corporate entity you know Luna Nutty if you want to call them um, the Hollywood Illuminati or you know the secret cabal or uh, it could be the church of Satan or whoever you understand because we really need to investigate this point but here's what I'm saying is that what we hear is that she was gonna do one thing she was planning to do one thing now we hear that she was actually planning to do something else to return to Israel and to be baptized and obviously spend time with this black Hebrew um, African Israelite um, community um, headed by our beloved brethren um, Ben Ami Ben Israel and you see in some of the clips you see where she she greets him she kisses him and you see Bobby and her and in fact where they edited this in, in, in the in the broadcast that we got to see that means everybody in New York area who's watching is like what wow so they they cut it across with this so-called plane incident there is there's no blood you understand there's no one hurt there's no terrorism proclamation or nothing like that you know the plane thank God landed all right but they had to cut into this particular story they cut into this particular story. Now, some would say, oh, that's just a, a coincidence. You're reading too much in this. But really, I have to ask whether those who think that we're reading too much into this, I have to ask whether you can read or not. You know, whether you can see or not. If you're not blind or if you're not an asset or an agent, you understand the Luna Nutty yourself. You're complicit somehow in this whole COINTEL Pro. You understand this Antichrist agenda to stop the rise of the Black Messiah and moreover to stop the rise of God's people. As soon as God's people are finally, you know, are finally, you know, looking to their once lost but now found identity. And see, I'm, I'm sure this is probably also the case of other artists out there. And even though they may have been into the business or whatever like that, you know, a lot of us believed the dream. We believed the lie, you know, until we got hurt by it, you know, until something woke us up. You know what I'm saying? And um, it, it might be more challenging for those who, who get into the circles like Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown and, and other artists and, and, and black folks, black people, or sheep, but, but ones who no doubt would embrace their heritage and their spiritual heritage, the divine heritage and their culture, if they only knew, but there most likely are pressures against them. You know, maybe not overt, but more covert, you see, and um, 
we're gonna let this story develop itself but all, all, all automatically we this is a confirmation this clip right here is a confirmation what we said in a couple of the earlier videos right around the time go check it out you understand on our channel you understand we're gonna probably put these things together you know um in in our own investigation you know because two sides of it yes she went through the whole metropolis bit you know, she was in the machine. In fact, the Metropolis movie and Whitney Houston's um, life, I think there's an interesting parallel and a, uh, and, and a connection, and a connection right there. But what is very clear is that at least it was in her plan and in her intention, and we have a witness, you know, of this. You know, one who was on the inside. Now, this confirmed what we say, being on the outside of this, but spiritually in tuning this, you understand? And now you get to see actual evidence. And before you can see the whole thing, they, 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 they cut it off. Now, there might be more to this, which might be even more interesting, but we haven't gotten to see it as of yet. But once again, if you want to see some of the background, you know, the perspective to this, you know, now look over those vids that we put up there previously again. You understand? Then go on the internet and search out some things for yourself. And you will basically get to see this this modern, you understand, 21st century of slick willy white supremacy, COINTEL pro Luna Nutty conspiracy right here um, against um, Whitney Houston, you know. And I mean, it's just so sickening in the sense that folks don't want to get it, don't want to get the truth. But I hope they wake up before it's too late. Um, more to come. Stay tuned. Shalom, Rastafari, Rasiadino Stafari of the line of Judah Society of Zen Pro Majesty. Check, just check this out again, all right? Last conversation with her goddaughter just hours before she died. Tonight, for the first time, we hear from an insider, Whitney's goddaughter, about the woman she shared so much of her life with. Let's go in depth. You talked to Whitney on the day she passed away. What was Whitney's mindset on the day she died? Whitney was very happy. She was talking to me about makeup. I set her up with a really good makeup artist, and she was like, Mommy, you have to take a nap. And I said, No, 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 he needs to be there at 5 30. She said, No, no, 6 is fine. She said, 6 is fine, Mommy needs to take a nap. And I said, Nope, 5 30. So she said, 5 45. So I said, Okay. She said, just make sure he's here. She said, check on Jay, because he was coming over. And I said, okay. She said, okay, baby. And she said, all right, love you. She hung up. Singer Whitney Houston is dead. Whitney's goddaughter, Brandy Burnside Boyd, revealing to me what was on Whitney's mind the day she passed away and what her godmother had planned for the future. She said, you and Max, my, my husband, me and Jay, Bobby Christie, my brother and my sister, and Uncle Ray, she said, Uncle Ray, are going to go to Israel. We need to get into the holy water so that nothing can harm us and touch us for our new journey. Whitney was baptized in the Holy Land back in 2003 with husband Bobby Brown and daughter Bobby Christina by her side. It was all captured by... From CBS 2 News, this is Breaking News. Hi, uh... Good evening, everyone. I'm Christine Johnson in the CB2 newsroom. We're interrupting the insider right you now. See that? You some see that, people? news from Newark Airport. A United Airlines plane has made an emergency landing there. The pilot reporting smoke. Chopper 2 HD oh, over the scene. You can clearly see the large emergency response people, on the ground. Yo, people, you see it? Well, you don't tell you see that it. The airport is closed as a result of this. Jim Smith is over the scene. Jim, tell us what you see. Well, Christine, as you can see, that is the airplane, a United Airlines flight uh, here at Newark Airport. It's difficult to tell from our vantage point whether the plane came to a rest on the runway or the taxiway. It does appear that the nose... No,